guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. Today I have a swatch and review for you and this is a brand that is fully new to me and I am incredibly excited to share it with you because this collection really, really called to me. This is Forget Me Not Lacquers You Crackle Me Up collection and if you couldn't tell by the name, it is a five piece crackle collection which um, it's making a comeback, okay? Like we're gonna make crackle happen. I gotta say thanks to the two people who put me onto this because Nyx Polish, he sent me the Instagram post where they were first talking about it and kind of hyping it up before release. And so I was just like, oh, those look really cool. And then I saw It Is Amanda was, I'm pretty sure I saw it on her story as well. And she is a crackle advocate, if you will. And so like a fellow crackle advocate because I also, am really into crackle it's one of those finishes that was popular in i think like early 2000s are we is this still the early 2000s it's 2024 i mean it's not like the late 2000s but to me the early 2000s is between 2000 and 2010 so i feel like crackle kind of made like a huge like burst onto the scene was popular for like 40 seconds and then everyone was like ew i hate it but I feel very nostalgic for it because I wasn't a big nail polish wearer at that time. And so I'm like, kind of like, I wish I had lived that era more to the fullest. I do own a couple crackle polishes. I have one from Zoya called Leopard Spots. And then I have one from OPI that was part of a Nicki Minaj collection. And um, she kind of sucks. So I, I don't want to I don't wear that anymore. I was really, I was a Nikki stan and now I'm a Nikki hater. <laughs> Leave Megan alone. Um, but yeah, so I, I really only have cream crackles. These are not creams. These are all fun finish crackles, which instantly, you know, you know me, I love a fun finish. I always want, I always say I want to polish with stuff in it, you know, and that's what these are. So I was really excited about that because it's very unique, not really a common thing. And so I was dying to try it. So I was like checking the Instagram constantly being like, when are they gonna release? I set an alarm for these polishes. This is quite honestly the first collection of the year that I've been like, yes, fired up for. Usually it takes a little bit longer into the year for me to get like really truly excited about a polish collection, finding it unique or anything because I'm not a big spring person. So I don't really like a lot of the spring collections that come out. And you know, at the beginning of the year, I'm like, okay, I gotta save a little bit of money. But this one, I was like, I'm, I'm buying that. I don't care what it costs. I want all of them. And now I know I said that I don't wanna buy full collections unless I love every polish, but I went through all the swatches on their Instagram and I was like, yes, I do love every polish just from the pictures alone. And after playing with them, I've had them for a few days. I can again assure you, I love every polish, no regrets buying the whole collection. So let me give you a few basic details before I talk your ear off. We will do a live swatch and then I will have a full hand swatch. And for the live swatch, I'm gonna swatch the same polish over two colors, just regular black and white. You know, you can swatch these over a lot of different colors, but those are kind of like the basics. And then I have a full hand swatch for you as well. Then at the end, I'm going to talk to you about my favorites, my thoughts and feelings, anything I feel like worth mentioning. So let's just talk basics real quick. So the price of these are $13.50 a piece or the full five piece collection is $63.50. Most of these are currently sold out. I will say that right now. I did check their Instagram and they said that they're going to try for a restock. They don't have a specific date yet. So I suggest following them on Instagram. I will have that linked down below for you as well as their shop for you to check them out if you are interested. Uh, and I will, if I see that they're gonna restock, I will probably post it to my stories as well so that anybody who wants a chance at these can get them because I, like I said, I'm really hyped for these. And I, I always wanna be super, when I see a brand doing something really cool and unique, I want to use my small platform to be like screaming from the hilltops being like, you guys check this out because I always want to support people who are just doing something really fun because I want to encourage them to keep doing something really fun for my own selfish reasons. I want 
to buy the fun things. So, uh, like I said, yes, that's the price. That's, uh, the restock is kind of up in the air so far. The shipping was phenomenal. So I got these, I, I placed the order on a Saturday. They arrived in my mailbox on Wednesday and like the turnaround time was crazy. She was clearly putting in the work when she got the orders. I think she said on Instagram, it was like a crazy, crazy launch. Like a lot of people were buying them. These are 21 free and small batch. So it sounds like it's probably a one person organization there. Like she's, she's doing everything, which is really admirable because I, that, that would stress me out. And the bottles, uh, she, I was talking back and forth with her on Instagram and she was like, do the bottles look familiar to you? And I was just like staring at them. Cause like now that I'm put on the spot, I'm like, oh my God, do they look familiar to me? Am I supposed to know this? And I stared at it like really hard for a few minutes. And I was like, these kind of look like the Cirque bottles. And she was like, yes, they are. I was like, okay, but they're the Cirque bottles with better brushes because I'm not a brush snob by any means. I can use any sort of brush but I do prefer these like wider scoop brushes and that's what she has in there. So if you like the Cirque bottles, but you hit the Cirque brush, that's what you got right here. You got a good, good brush in this bottle. So let's get into the actual live swatches. You can see these crackle and then I will talk about all of my thoughts, feelings, and some important notes at the end. So up first we have Lulz, which is this really shifty, pink to yellow to orange to even green, and then it has purple reflective glitter in it as well, according to the website. Uh, I prefer this one over a darker color personally, just because it makes that color really pop. And here you can see on two times speed, the crackle effect taking place. I do sometimes blow on it a little bit to encourage the crackle, and that's what it looks like. Like I said, over black, it really pops. Then we have Gut Buster, and this one is blue metallic flakes with some silver hollow. And this one, I say this later, but like over white, I actually prefer it over white because it reminds me of that weird ice cube gum, which this is the first time you'll ever hear me say I prefer something over white, but here we are. And here it is in two times speed crackling up. And here it is all top coated. It looks really, really fun. I like the blues in this collection. This is Knee Slapper. It has a dark teal base with two different tones and sizes of purple metallic flakes. And this one also, this one's just like, these are all like very nostalgic for me. Over white, I really, really like this because you can really see that teal base. But over black, I also really love it because it, it reads way more purple. So this one I love either way. Um, I will show you what this reminds me of over white later in the video. See if you can guess though, because I feel like other people are gonna get the same idea here when they look at it. This one is called Funny Guy, which I like the name of that one. I'm like, he's a funny guy. Uh, this is Silver Hollow with gold reflective glitter in it and it has some blue shimmer in there. I feel like this one is also really, I mean, they're all really versatile. You can wear them over anything, but over the white, it does look okay, but over black and probably darker colors or just like darker than white colors, it's gonna look really, really cool. I think that a hollow crackle is really, really interesting. It's not something I would have thought of, but it, it just, I don't know, it just looks really chic. Then last but not least, we have Trickster, which is really such a good name for this one. This one is really, really unique. It is a thermal. I feel like this looks best over light colors, which is why I'm only swatching it over white here. It goes from blue when it's warm to purple when it's cold. I tried swatching it over black. I couldn't really see it over black. So I think you're gonna wanna do this one strictly over lighter colors and don't mind the black that I got on my brush there. So what did you guys think of the collection? Did any particular polish really grab your eye? I know there was one for me that I was like, above all else, I have to get that one. And we'll talk about that in favorites. Um, and I did forget to mention at the beginning of the video, all of the polishes were wrapped in a corresponding colored bag to the polish. And I thought that was a cute touch. And also Rob, for some reason, really like, I probably am just gonna give him these bags because he walked by and saw them on the counter. And he's like, those are really cute. What are those? And I was like, well, like what? Like, what? I don't know. I just think it's weird that he just like saw the bags alone and was like, that's really cute. I'm like, what do you think they're for? I don't know. But he can have them if he really wants them. 
but I always like a unique packaging detail. And I like that the colors corresponded to the polish. I thought that was, uh, I like things that match, okay? So first and foremost, I wanna talk about the theme because you know me, I love a good theme and I love when it's executed well. So this collection is called the You Crackle Me Up collection, which, you know, you crack me up, you crackle me up. Perfect, very, very punny, good job. And all the names, you know, they relate in some way to like humor. So we've got Gut Buster, Lols, Knee Slapper, Funny Guy, and Trickster. So I just thought like, what a great naming convention. Um, and then they named them all like perfectly. So I, I don't know, I just, I thought it was a really cute attention to detail thing. Obviously the names and the themes don't affect how polishes wear, but you know, it's fun. It just, it's like an extra layer. So I always like to talk about themes, especially when they're so prominent. And I love you crackle me up and it's crackle, you know, it's just cute. I was really quite sick when I got these. So I didn't get like the chance to immediately start playing with them on my nails. So I busted out a swatch wheel just so that I could kind of see what they looked like. And I put them all over black and white. And you'll have seen that already when I did my live hand swatch. Um, but I do feel like the cool thing about toppers, even though I'm really bad at remembering to wear them, is you get a lot of versatility out of them because you can layer them so many different ways. And these are no different because a couple of them have like a, a multi-chrome flaky effect. So whether you lay it over a darker versus a lighter color really affects the color, which, you know, for these first, for these first three, that is really prominent. It's like, these are the same polish layered over black versus white. And then, you know, the same polish, black versus white and same here. And it's like, look, this looks like a red magenta -y color. This one looks more pink. Like you get way more blue tones here versus it looks like a little bit icier here. And over here, over black, it looks purple. And over white, it looks like my favorite cup from the 90s. I, I don't know. Like every time I look at this, I just, I think of that cup. So I feel like out of all five of these, four of them, you can layer over both dark and light colors. The only one that I think will only work over light colors is this one called Trickster. It's a thermal, it's a thermal crackle. Like what the heck? That's so interesting to me. And like the color in the bottle is kind of this like indigo. When it is cold, it starts out as this kind of purpley color. And then as it gets warm, it goes into like a deeper, deeper blue. And as you can see over the black, you can't, you can't see, as you can see, you can't see. And even when it transitions to the blue state, I couldn't get it to show up. That's fine. Over a lighter color, it's kind of more punchy anyways, because it's a lighter colored thermal. So I, that was the one where I was like, I absolutely have to have it. So I guess let's talk about my favorites. I knew I was going to like all of them to some degree because they're all very interesting. Uh, they aren't all the same finish. She's got like a mix. Well, I mean, they're all crackle finishes, but like they're sub finish, I guess, because these are like a double finish, I guess. Uh, they, they all have something going for them. So I really, like I said, probably my favorite is the thermal just because I've never seen anything like that. Crackle and thermal, that's really unique. So this is, I'm excited to wear that. These three have all kind of some sort of metallic thing going on with them, but then they have like extra stuff added. So like this one, this is Knee Slapper. It has a couple different size flakies in there as well as a couple different colors. This was my second favorite. This is the one that looks like that cup that I love so much that all 90s kids are like nostalgic for. <laughs> and then we have this lighter blue one. This is Gut Buster. And over white, this reminded me of, you know that gum that comes in like a cube? And it, I think it's like, I don't know, it's really like icy flavored. I, over white, it reminded me of the cube gum. I will have a picture up so you guys know what I'm talking about because I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like, is it like ice? No, Ice Mountain is a water. Um, I'll show you later and uh, I'll show you in post. And then there was this one where in the bottle, I was like the least in, like, it's just not my favorite kind of color tone. But you know, when I saw the swatches, I was like, I really like it because over the dark color, it really has kind of like these 
fall vibes. Over white, it's not like my favorite. Just it's too light over white. But over a dark color, I'm really, really enjoying that. All obviously, this is all personal taste. And I believe it has some kind of reflective glitter in there as well. And then, of course, we have the hollow, which I feel like I'm finally seeing the ways of hollow because I've like over the years I've been like I don't understand why everyone's obsessed with hollow now I kind of get it like I'm still not like it's not like my favorite finish shimmers and uh like that kind of thing are but this one it it has I can see some like reflective going on in there and it's just kind of cool to have that cracked look with that hollow in there and over black I really like this one I want to play with all of these over a variety of colors um, but just black and white seemed like the go-to for the video. Uh, I really, really like that. So obviously I like them all, but my top two are the Thermal Trickster and Knee Slapper. They're just, they're so fun. So two really important things that I want to highlight about Crackle polishes. If you've never used them, if you don't really have any experience with them, if you're not familiar, there are two really, I would say, significant things that you should be aware of before you use them. They're not bad. Like it's very easy. It's just so that you get the best use out of them. Number one, layering these over bare nail, they're not going to work. At least in my experience, I've never had a crackle polish work just on bare nail. You have to paint your nail with something first. It's something to do with the science. I'm not a scientist. I'm just, I'm just a Hillary. Okay. Like I don't know anything about that. All I know is you got to have polish on your nail for these to work. And I let that polish dry first. Now the website also lets you know this. I just want to reiterate it in my video because not everybody reads listings. I'm guilty. I don't always read listings. Um, so I just want to make sure you know they won't crackle. You won't get that cool effect unless you have polish down on your nail first. I wonder if just a base coat would work. I'm not really sure like if you really wanted a bare nail underneath. But part of the fun of these is like doing like cool color combos. So, you know, so number one, make sure you have dry polish on your nail and paint these over it. And then the second thing is when they dry down, they are going to be a little bit textured. So what you need to do is either do two layers of like a thick glossy top coat, or you can use a glitter grabber in conjunction with a glossy top coat, which is what I did on my swatch wheel. I used a glitter grabber and then I put the glossy top coat over it and you can't feel any of the texture. Like you can't feel those bumps and you can't see, like when you look at the side profile, you can't see any of the indentations. Before you put on top coat, you can see like a slightly raised layer where you painted on the crackle. And actually, you know what? I think I have a photo of me wearing a crackle, like the Zoya crackle with just regular top coat, no uh, no glitter grabber. And you can see where the, the top coat kind of sinks in and it looks a little bit cratered. So if you don't like that kind of lumpy look, if you want something a little bit smoother, two coats of top coat, or I highly recommend a glitter grabber. And I guess I keep calling it glitter grabber, but it's like a glitter smoothing top coat is what they're really called. So glitter grabber is the, is the glisten and glow version, which I really like. It's the first one I ever tried. And that's what I used on my swatch wheel. I also have one from Caloris to Carol that works really well. And I think, I think other brands have their versions as well, but those are the only two that I've tried and I found that they both work really well. You just need to give it some time to sink in and dry a little bit before you add your top coat so that you get like the full effect of that glitter smoothing top coat. But yeah, these are very easy to work with. There's really nothing tricky about them. They, you just paint them on over your color just like a normal polish. And at first I, I always get nervous, no matter how many times I do this at first, I'm like, Oh my God, it's not working. Cause it takes a little bit of time, like 10 to 15 seconds, I think before it starts to kind of shift and crack apart. And the cool thing too, is it's like every nail looks a little bit different um, because you know, the cracks are different on each nail, but I always panic. Cause I'm like, Oh no, I've ruined the nail. And then all of a sudden it starts kind of like shrinking in on itself. If anybody understands how science works, feel free to tell me why these do what they do in the comments below. I love when you guys teach me stuff. 
But yeah, that is going to be it from me. I really look forward to seeing what else this brand has in store. I Like I said, this is my first time buying from them. I hadn't purchased from them before. And I took a peek around their website. They have some really fun, cute toppers. But I don't... I gotta, I gotta wear more toppers, even though I just bought a collection of five toppers. I gotta wear more toppers before I buy more toppers. That's my rule. Um, but they have a lot of cute stuff and I'm really looking forward to see what else they come up with. And I am really excited for them. It seems like this was a really successful launch. So I hope that they relaunch it again soon so that I'll let you guys know over on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, my handle is the same as it is over here, Mediocre Manny's. They're like, it's like a picture of my face, like really up close. So if that's, if you see the icon with my face really up close, that's me. There's another person who I am friends with who she's Mediocre underscore Manny. And people confuse us for each other all the time. Um, we're not each other though. So make sure you follow, just follow both of us actually. Just follow her too. Why not? <laughs> so yeah, that is going to be it from me. Let me know which of these was your favorite and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.